was a little late in coming up here because I thought Mick was talking about somebody else. <laughs> Thank you. Um, good morning. I'm Karen Calder, and as you just heard, I serve as the executive director of this amazing place we call Classroom Central. But what my title really should be is person with the best job in Charlotte. I truly believe that. I love the work that we do at Classroom Central, and I thank my lucky stars every morning because I get to be a part of it. My joy for this organization runs deep because Classroom Central believes, as do I, in the potential of every child. We believe that the light of learning should never dim and that the playing field should be level and that all children should be equipped to play. We believe that every student should have the tools they need to be confident, to learn and to succeed, and that every teacher should be focused on instilling the love of learning rather than burdened with buying supplies. Unfortunately, that's just not always the case in our community. We have children living within the shadows of this very building that are not equipped to learn, meaning they run the risk of getting further and further behind if we don't step in. Our teachers, or as I like to think of them, our superheroes, work hard to bridge this gap, to provide a safety net of sorts for their students. I call teachers superheroes because they, of any working professional, are oftentimes the least likely to be able to afford it. Yet even on a starting salary of just $35,000 per year, they continuously reach into their own pockets, digging deep, spending upwards of $1,000 on classroom materials every year. Can you imagine? I've seen it time and time again, teachers foregoing, spending on themselves, or taking on a second job just to ensure that their students have what they need. And why is this? Well, despite this incredibly prosperous community that we live in, one in two children are living in poverty. For a variety of reasons, none of which are their fault, their families are struggling to make ends meet, affording rent, buying groceries, paying for utilities, which means that school supplies just can't take on a top priority. Yet what's the best way to break the cycle of poverty? I believe it's education, and so do a lot of the experts. Education is the great equalizer. It's the one thing that no one can ever take away from you. Classroom Central was formed 15 years ago to equip teachers and students with the materials they need to be successful. And we've distributed a lot of materials since then. $50 million worth, to be exact. But what we've come to learn is that what we do is so much more than just paper and pencils. While it may look like that on the surface, what we're really doing is investing in the future of our children and providing a boost in income to our teachers, saving them from spending their own hard-earned money. The materials we provide help to build bonds between teachers and students which creates more confident kids who want to come to school and who want to learn. And isn't that what we all want? While we're proud of our accomplishments, we're literally just scratching the surface of erasing the need. And as much as I love Classroom Central, there are two things that really bother me, that keep me up at night. The first one is, today our business model revolves primarily around teachers visiting our free store after school on their own time, and boy do they. We serve more than 200 teachers from 192 schools in six districts every week. But for some, getting to us is next to impossible. Their final school bell of the day rings at 4.15, and after they load the kids up on the buses, and uh, they've got about an hour or so left of their day uh, prepping and lesson planning for the coming day, before they navigate Charlotte traffic, 
and head home to their own children and their own personal responsibilities. Anybody here can relate to that? Our model just isn't working for those teachers, which is why we're piloting a mobile outreach program with six Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. And so far it's working out great. With this pilot program, we've gone from serving 15% of the teachers in our test school to 100%, which is awesome. But we wanna do more. There are 41 Charlotte Mecklenburg schools that are considered high poverty, and they're more than nine miles away from Classroom Central. Most of them are late release schools, and some of them, unfortunately, have failing school grades. With your support, we can help them. My dream is to have this traveling free store. So think with me for a moment. Think about an Office Depot or a Target on wheels that drives up to each of our partner schools, allowing teachers to actually shop and hand select what they need. How great would that be? But we need the resources to make it happen. To do so requires about $130,000 to acquire and to retrofit a vehicle into this traveling free store but it only will cost us $60,000 to operate it annually thereafter. However, doing so would allow us to reach about 40,000 Charlotte Mecklenburg students that we're currently not serving. And I would just ask, isn't that investment worth making in their future? The second thing that really concerns me is that due to inventory limitations, we have to restrict the amount of items that teachers receive, which means when inventories run low, sometimes they might only be able to get 10 pencils or four notebooks. But what are they supposed to do with the other students in their class? What are those kids supposed to write on and with? With an additional $150,000, we could ensure that all Charlotte Mecklenburg elementary school teachers and students have all that they need to be successful. And in a world with a lot of challenges, it can oftentimes just seem incredibly overwhelming to see where we as individuals might be able to make an impact. But I've just described two challenges that working together we could all easily and immediately erase. In college, I trained to be an English teacher and I student taught right here in Charlotte at Garinger High School. I quickly learned just how hard this job is, which is why I have an immense respect for teachers. They are not just instructors anymore. They're social workers, role models, mentors, and in some cases, they're the one person that is standing up for a student, looking them straight in the eyes and saying, I believe in you and I know you can do it. And I just ask, doesn't everyone need that someone in their lives? Classroom Central believes one in two children living in poverty means far too many are being left behind. We believe that they are all our kids not just those kids. And the responsibility of erasing this need lies with us all. And today, we invite you to join us on this journey to making a significant and lasting impact and difference for them. Thank you.